Hey everybody. Well, uh, got kind of a little fun, fun thing in store for us today. I'm up at uh, Itasca State Park. Uh, got a little day off from work. Well, most of the day. I gotta go in tonight for a meeting. But that's all right. We got a good portion of the day that we can hang out up here. Um, go check out the headwaters and see what else we can get into up here. Uh, I did notice that there were some, uh, well one of the roads I noticed right away is uh, not plowed, it's the southern entrance. Luckily I came from the eastern side so I didn't have to worry about that. And uh, the gal at the visitor center said that there was a few other roads that aren't plowed just yet. So we'll uh, see how far in we can drive and uh, see how uh, how some of the hiking trails look and yeah, we'll have some fun up here. the state parks I've been in, Itasca has to be the one that's got the coolest road running through it. It just really follows the land, coming up over hills, around corners and stuff. Before long, I want to get my motorcycle up through here. It'll be a great ride for sure. We just uh, went past the Headwaters Visitor Center. Uh, normally there's quite a bit that's going on and available there, but since we're out of season, everything's really closed up. <clears throat> they uh, normally do have like a really nice map that kind of shows the like uh, <coughs> topography of the, the river itself, um, but it appears that they're doing some repairs on it, getting it ready for for the next season here so but yeah we're uh crossing we're gonna be crossing the bridge here where we're actually gonna cross the mississippi river so this here's the mississippi river in all its glory it really looks like a creek more than anything right now but it's only flowing out of Lake Itasca and the surrounding area as you know the river continues on it gets wider and wider as it collects more water so yeah that's uh, one of the things that I remember as a kid that kind of struck me about it being the headwaters of the Mississippi is how small it is but you know you don't really think of how much how much land it covers and so uh, that's why it picks up so much water as it goes. <coughs> it's a really beautiful trail coming down here. <coughs> right now it's pretty nice because other than I think saw uh, one couple, everyone else I've seen have been state employees here. <laughs> so I'm one of the only visitors that I've seen so far did see one other car in the parking lot, so we might see one other group down here. That's about it. Yeah, so this, this is the Mississippi River where it all starts, Lake Itasca.
Let's cross the river. Forgot to mention earlier, but it's only 40 degrees out today. It's just such a beautiful day. Oh, yeah. It's a little boardwalk here right along the river. You can kind of see it. This follows the the river as it's real short like this, or uh, yeah, just falls along the river, leads back to the main trail. So that'll take us back to the Headwaters Visitor Center. here and then we'll uh, start making our way back so I can uh, head home and prep for that meeting. <laughs> All right. This over here is a pretty cool spot in the summertime. Uh, right there's Lake Itasca. Same lake we were looking at earlier. We're just kind of across the way. The headwaters are kind of over there. Maybe a little further that way. I don't know. Um, but you can rent boats and uh, a couple different things in the summertime and they have like a little gift shop there with like snacks and tchotchkes and whatever and like shirts and things so but it's a really cool spot I think this here's a yeah this here's a boat launch or you can one of the few boat launches out on Lake Itasca you bring your fishing boat or whatever down here and launch it and then you park it over there where my truck is and yeah Pretty cool. Oh, I didn't do an outro on while I was still out and about, but I'm back home, uh, just chilling at the apartment. Uh, stopped at I think it's it's called Reed's Outdoors or Sportsman Store or whatever in Walker, uh, but Reed's now everybody up in this area kind of knows about it. But <clears throat> yeah, a little uh, sportsman sporting goods store up in Walker. Uh, they got all kinds of cool stuff up there. I wound up picking up a couple new magazines for one of my rifles and uh, some um, little panfish jigs for fishing this summer. Um, so yeah, this is uh, where I'm going to end the video. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to see what this uh, YouTube channel does. So if you're if you're digging the videos tell your friends about it uh subscribe and then i guess uh for some reason even though you're saying you want to subscribe to my videos uh, i guess that's not enough nowadays so i guess ring the bell if you really like the videos and want to get notified when i upload one of these dumb videos all right thanks for watching you guys take care